This video is to demonstrate how to adjust your Minkota Deckhand DH40 anchor winch to work with an anchor that weighs less than 20 pounds. The problem is that there is a micro switch on this guy located right here that when you pull the rope, you hear it click, this whole assembly slides back and the switch opens and closes. The amount of effort to open and close it is based upon a spring here and the spring tension. So what I did was I adjusted the amount of tension that the device felt by filing the two slots. If you can see there the spring rides on two slots. I actually filed it too far uh, so I ended up uh, putting a shim back in there. Uh, all you need to file is about the thickness of one of these uh, coils. Um, the, the diameter of the wire itself is about enough to change the tension that pulls this thing by about hmm, 30 percent I'd say. Uh, I used a scale here. Hung off the end of the rope and measured it to start with. It took eight pounds to activate the switch, and now it takes about 4.8 pounds, almost five pounds to activate the switch. So you do the math on the percentages. Now to get into this spring, what you gotta do is there's an E-clip inside of here, and it literally looks like the letter E whenever you pull it out. There's three prongs that go into a groove on there. And you can use something like a little screwdriver like this, get underneath here and pry this thing out. Don't lose it. E-clips are also fondly called Jesus clips because whenever they come loose, boing, off they go around the garage. The cat plays with it, knocks it further, and uh, and you've lost uh, you, you've lost your clip and now you're screwed. Oh, well. once you get the clip off, there's a washer behind it. Slide the washer and the white nylon block back into this area, which will allow you then to remove the spring. Once you got the spring out, take a file, file lightly until you've removed about the distance of one of the thicknesses of the wire here. And like I said, I went too far, but that wasn't a big deal. I just took a washer and shimmed it back up. With that washer out of there and the thickness of one loop of wire, uh, of, of the wire, uh, I actually dropped it down too far. It took less than a pound to activate it. So be very careful, file, test it. And uh, if you're a fisherman, you've got a digital scale of some sort anyway. All right, that's it uh, to reassemble. Um, just um, slide the black back the block back in using uh, your little screwdriver to hold the spring back while you slide it and line it in place. Push your washer past the groove in here um, and then put the clip back on and be careful again not to lose it. Hook your wires back on. The wires go on and off pretty easy. The red and black are obviously marked plus or minus but the blue for this while well, there's two colors I just took one off of the board and one off of the switch so that I wouldn't accidentally hook them up wrong. Now there's only one, one place for a blue wire to go. That's it. Hope this helps somebody. Bye.